Okay, let's factor the equation x squared minus 6x minus 16. Here's how we do it. Let's start with the skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation, and then we can add signs to the skeleton here. So I have a negative and a negative here. If the middle and the last term, if they're both negative, I'm going to put a positive and negative in the skeleton, like this. Once I have the signs, now I can find the factors for the last term, that negative 16, and they should add up to the middle term negative 6. So the factor is for 16. And I can see 2 times 8, that would give me 16. And the difference between 2 and 8, that's 6. So the question is, do I put the 2 or the 8 here? Since I want the middle term here to be negative, I'm going to put 8 here and then 2 here. And I'll have factored the equation x squared minus 6x minus 16. But I want to check my work. So let's use the FOIL method. Multiply the first, outside, inside, and last, we get when we combine negative 8x and 2x, we get that negative 6x. We have our negative 16 here, our x squared here. This is the same thing we started with. So we correctly have factored the equation x squared minus 6x minus 16. Let's take a moment to find the values for x. We plug them back into the equation. It'll make this side of the equation equal 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we say x plus 2 equals 0 add negative 2 to both sides, and we get x equals a negative 2. Over here, x minus 8 equals 0. We add a positive 8 to both sides, x equals 8. If you put 8 in for x here, you do the math, you'll end up with 0. Likewise, if you put negative 2 in for x and do the math, you'll end up with 0 on this side of the equation. Note that if you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 6x minus 16. Thanks for watching.